two men who influenced change and helped shape the future of Australian Speedway more than any other American imports were Bob Tattersall and Steve Kinzer. Not only were they two of the most successful Americans to ever race here, but their dominance and guidance lifted the overall standard of speed cars and sprint cars in this country to a level it currently enjoys. For 13 consecutive years from the late 50s to 1971, Tattersall visited our shores and each time he brought with him a thoroughbred factory built American Offenhauser speed car that was light years ahead of Australian technology. Well, Bob Tattersall's first national tour was in 1960. He brought with him the yellow number 55 Tony Saylor Offenhauser out of Illinois. And this created a revolution. As the decade unfolded, more Offenhausers began to appear on the Australian scene, courtesy of Bob Tattersall. On most occasions, the Australians could not keep up with the highly talented Tattersall and his super quick, sleek Offenhausers. Local drivers were keen to get their hands on an Offenhauser, and on many occasions, Tattersall sold the cars he bought here. That created a trend, and other drivers purchased Offenhauser cars. Suddenly, Offy numbers increased, and those car owners who could not afford an American Offenhauser built better local cars to be more competitive. A revolution had commenced, and through Bob Tattersall, Australian speed car racing underwent an incredible transformation. Well, Bob Tattersall was almost unbeatable in the Offenhausers. And of course, the Australian opposition tried to match it with him. And of course, more Australian drivers bought Offenhausers. And what we saw was a calibre of competition that made the 60s so memorable. Tattersall was a showman and a super competitor who largely contributed to the golden era of the 60s when the masses packed arenas around Australia to watch this colourful car cowboy known as Bob Two-Gun Tattersall from Illinois in action. 20 years later, a similar transformation occurred when Indiana's Steve Kinzer became a regular visitor to Australia in the 80s. Kinzer was a great talent, a headline grabber and box office bonanza. Sprint car racing was still in its infancy in the mid 80s after being introduced to Australia in 1972. But Kinzer was destined to take it to a new and exciting level. Well, Indiana's Steve Kinzer repeated what Bob Tattersall did two decades earlier. His magnetism, his popularity, and it created a boom in Australian sprint car racing with better equipment driven by the locals and some great racing. Steve Kinzer has made a similar number of visits to Australia as Tattersall, and both raced at some of Australia's most famous speedway tracks, the Sydney Showground, Adelaide Speedway City, and Perth Claremont Speedway, to name just some. Well, the highlight of the 80s, of course, was the Kinzer team. Firstly, as the JPS Kinzers, Steve Kinzer, Randy Kinzer, Mark Kinzer, and Kelly Kinzer. But they're also remembered as the Commodore Kinzers. And these were great days, great tours, and the team performed successfully throughout Australia. Steve Kinzer is acknowledged as arguably the best sprint car driver the world has ever seen. And he certainly has the stats to support such a claim. He is a 20 times American World of Outlaws champion and a winner of the prestigious Knoxville Nationals, the unofficial Sprint Car World Championship, an incredible 12 times. Steve Kinzer has won more major races in America than any other driver and has set records that will stand the test of time. His career path has also taken him to the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where in 1997 he competed in the Indy 500 placing 14th in a field of 33. Steve Kinzer showed his versatility with 500 plus World of Outlaw main event victories, but he also showed that he could drive other equipment. He qualified for the Indianapolis 500 and also tried his hand at NASCAR as well. Bob Tattersall and Steve Kinzer are icons of the sport and have left an indelible mark on Australian Speedway. They came, conquered and were responsible for creating a revolution. Bob Two-Gun Tattersall from Streeter, Illinois, left a memory that was so important to the development of speed car racing in Australia. And likewise, Steve Kinzer in sprint cars when he came here during the 80s.